Hello everybody, Waffle Time here, and today we are going to be doing something that I enjoy more than eating or sleeping, and that is crumpling Skeletron Prime into a ball of aluminum foil and stuffing him into an air fryer. I hate Skeletron Prime. I just, I just hate Skeletron Prime. First we'll be going over the proper armor and accessories you'll need for this fight, and then we'll talk about buff potions, your arena setup, and lastly, a method for each class to defeat this stupid piece of sh- Let's start with your armor. If you're anything but a summoner, you'll want either adamantite or titanium armor. Personally, I like going with the melee headpiece no matter what class I am, simply on account of the fact that his defense is so much higher than that of the ranged and mage armor headpieces. In fights like these, especially in hard mode, I really like to prioritize defense. Other than that, if you're playing summoner, spider armor is going to be the best armor of choice for you. Quick and simple. Now let's move on to some accessory action. There are going to be a few accessories that are specific to your class that'll make it super powerful, but we'll get into those later. For now, let's talk about the accessories that all classes should have. These include a cross necklace, or some form or variation of it, a charm of myths, a good set of wings, and either a worm scarf or a brain of confusion. An emblem for whatever class you're using is also very, very helpful in increasing your overall DPS. Not to mention, all of your accessories are so much better for you if you get the warding modifier on it. All the defense adds up tremendously and can be huge in any boss fight. The only real downside of reforging is having to take out a second mortgage on your house after a while in order to find enough coins to reforge your items, putting you and your family in crippling debt that your kids will have to pay off to the goblin tinkerer long after you're gone. But you take way less damage during boss fights, so it's definitely worth it. Let's get into the buff potions, my favorite. For this boss fight, I highly recommend Iron Skin, Endurance, Regeneration, Swiftness, and Wrath or Rage, along with a quick snack for the well-fed buff. If you're using anything with a bow and arrow, I strongly recommend an archery potion. If you're using magic weapons, I recommend magic power and mana regeneration potions. And lastly, if you're going to be using summoning to defeat Skeletron Prime, make sure to drink a summoning potion so you can get an extra unit. Also, before I forget again, Life Force potions help extraordinarily. Thank you, Nana. Now let's talk about your arena. If you've already defeated a mechanical boss, getting Asphalt will make it ridiculously easy to destroy the other mechanical bosses. The order I recommend is killing the destroyer first and then the other mechanical bosses, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be using a long row of platforms and some lightning boosts just to show you his attack patterns and show you how you can maneuver around him and attack him well. But yeah, if you have access to the Steampunker, by all means, please get a blend of matic make some Asphalt, and make a really long Asphalt bridge because holy shit, it makes it so much easier to battle these guys. You just completely outrun them and can dodge most of their attacks. I don't know about you guys, but I've quite had enough of not strangling Skeletron Prime to death with my bare hands, so let's jump right into the battle. The first method I'll be showing is a melee method. In this loadout, I'm doing Death by Yo-Yo, so I have equipped myself with a Yo-Yo bag and the Amarok Yo-Yo. The Hellfire Yo-Yo is also a viable option, and as for the Yellets, it has a bit higher of DPS, but it's only accessible after defeating a mechanical boss. So, let's get started. You'll notice right away how annoying this guy is, equipped with bombs, lasers, a vice, and a saw. What you'll also be quick to notice is that the bombs and the lasers are what you really have to worry about. So if you do happen to want to knock out an appendage or two to make the fight easier, I would definitely go for those guys. Other than that, the fight's a bit self-explanatory. If you don't have the dramatic speed that Asphalt grants you, you'll pretty much want to fly in circles around him. This is where a Shield of Cthulhu comes greatly in handy, but I didn't use it just for the first few rounds just to see how it worked without it. It's great for evasion. The only disadvantage I found of this method is its dependence on close range, where Skeletron Prime is a boss you want to stay the hell away from. Then again, the Yo-Yo does have a really good range compared to the other melee weapons that you could get at this point in the game, plus the Amarok kicks ass since it hits Skeletron Prime with a Frostburn effect as well, which is highly useful. That damage really adds up over time. Just make sure you have enough distance to get around all the bombs and lasers that Skeletron Prime shoots you with, and you'll have absolutely no problem with going the melee route. Let's check out the range method next. Now, some honorable mentions for this method was the Mega Shark and the Onyx Blaster, which absolutely get the job done. I tried both, and they both work fantastic, especially if you pair them with i or Cursed Bullets. The weapon I'll be showcasing for the range method, though, is the Daedalus Stormbow, which is is extremely effective against all the mechanical bosses. So yeah, you can bet your sweet ass I'm using it as my crutch for the range class in the next video against the twins as well. Anyways, let's get down to business. This method is quick but not clean. The only downfall of it is that it's a bit hard to aim, but the silver lining is when accompanied with holy arrows, this combo not only rips up Skeletron Prime himself, but also makes very short work of the many weapons he tries to kill you with. There is nothing more satisfying to me than the sound of arrows flying into Skeletron Prime, causing him great deals of pain and giving him great amount of medical expenses that he's surely not going to to be able to afford. I hope his insurance isn't accepted, and he has to use his kid's college funds to cover his medical bill. By the way, a ranger emblem and a magic quiver make you even more powerful against this bastard, especially when using the Stormbow. This method is also amazing for the simple fact that you can keep your distance and still do a massive amount of damage. It's definitely one of my go-to methods when I'm running through one of my single player worlds, so as long as you keep your distance and keep on shooting, you're going to be in great shape. Now we're going to be moving on to the more difficult methods, difficult as in much more difficult to pull off. Let's move into the mage method. Now, three quick bits I greatly recommend are the Sorcerer Emblem, the Mana Flower, and an ungodly amount of high-powered mana potions. The weapon I'm going to be using is the Meteor Staff in the Piss Book, I, I mean the, uh, I mean the uh, Golden Shower Spell Tome. 
But a great mention is a Crystal Serpent Staff. It's really, really easy to get right when you get into hard mode and can do extreme damage against the mechanical bosses. Now, I know it's possible to get Crimson in any world as of 1.4, whether it's a Corruption world or not, simply by buying Crimson Seeds from the Dryad when she's in a Graveyard Biome. So I greatly recommend getting the Golden Shower Spell. It is a great weapon to use to lower Skeletron Prime's defense and then switch back to your primary weapon and do some real damage, which is precisely what you see me doing here. The only problem you'll run into without using the Golden Shower Spell is cutting it very close to daytime, since Skeletron Prime is a nighttime only boss and will instantly kill you the second it turns daytime. Because why wouldn't he just retreat into the sky like a regular boss, right? No, it's Skeletron Prime and he has to get under our skin by any and all means. I want to wring his head and laser cannon out like a towel. So if you're extremely accurate, doing it without the Golden Shower is doable, but difficult. We like like making things easy here at Shea Waffle. If you keep your distance, don't run out of mana potions, and keep attacking his head before daytime, you'll do very well with this method. Oh, all right, here goes. The summoner method? Emphasis on summoner? I did full spider armor, which surprise surprise gives you hardly any defense, and I tried battling him using purely the spider staff. I also had a summoner emblem, and I had the cool whip weapon just to try and pummel him while my summons were going to work. Lo and behold, I ran out of time and was slaughtered immediately. Not to mention, his attacks hit a whole lot harder when you're only wearing spider armor. I tried again to no avail, so then I thought, hey, why not take it up a notch? Since the spiders don't want to cooperate, let's try using the optic staff and summon some baby twins. These work slightly better, but still, even using the whip to the full extent of my power and with the full power of all my minions, I still ran out of time. I feel as if if you're perfectly accurate, you may be able to pull it off in master mode using pure summoner. I felt as if the only major hurdle I ran into was time, since again, this is a nighttime only boss, and the process of killing him with summoning is just really slow and tedious. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. Psst. Yeah, you. Come here. Come here for a second. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. If you want to go pure summoner, Put some walls up behind your arena. That way your spiders have full access and range to Skeletron Prime's head. It makes the fight a whole lot easier. And the spiders can latch onto him super easy. Fuck yeah. It is doable, but it's very, very tough. So if you're going full pure summoner, try your best to go straight for the head and head only. But if you're okay with using another weapon aside from whips while your summons go to work, I recommend any of the ranged weapons I used before. For my experience, I used a storm bow, which obviously worked like a charm. Since you've all endured my unadulterated rage towards Skeletron Prime for quite some time now, I feel as if you all deserve some deluxe, delicious, and sensuous Skeletron Prime Slaughter ASMR. Oh my god, that felt good to do. Wow, I hate Skeletron Prime. Unfortunately though, that's going to be all for today you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this and comment down in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to join our Discord and come say hello. Link is in the description for you guys. Thank you all so much again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.